everybody. Welcome back to the Barber Shop at Home. I'm your host, Barber Dave. And today's topic is going to be interesting. Today's topic is going to be shaving senility. And speaking of shaving senility, and it's going to be about Nurse Dave. And speaking of Nurse Dave, look right up here. Go see his channel. Take Check him out. Check out all his videos. He's now on a coffee kick right now. So make sure you check out his videos. And you'll see that the shaving senility, see I'm going to bring everything full circle, um, will, will become very apparent uh, here in a few minutes. And um, But check him out, Nurse Dave. And the one nice thing about watching Nurse Dave's channel is if you have any any if you're having any type of mental instability, it's the closest thing that you're going to get to a full lobotomy without having to go to the doctor. So it works out pretty well. Basically, if you've ever seen the movie Being John Malkovich, basically the same thing. So there you go from there. Now, it should be noted before we get into the scientific discussion of shaving senility, that uh, Dave made a very nice video yesterday, which was hilarious. And uh, as we always do, we razz each other, which is cool. I mean, he's like a brother, a really crazy brother, but he, you know, he's like a brother just the same. But you need to note that, uh, that I am about 10 years, at least 10 years older than him, I think. Uh, I believe he's in his mid to late 40s, and I'm 57. Now, I'm a beautiful man. You can see this. Look at that. Look at that. No gray hair. Now look at Dave's video, and he's 10 years younger than I am, and he's got gray hair. And we're going to prove, beyond a shadow of a doubt, today, that he has got shaving senility. Now, I will admit, because he did bring up in his video, that I promised to send him some samples. Now, I did send him a big box of... Tom Ford samples quite some time ago. And then I also sent him a huge box of soaps. Now, I think he's mentioning or he's thinking about either Tangerine Creeper or something from Penhaligons that they no longer make. I will admit my shaving senility is right there because I don't remember that conversation. So, Nurse Dave, if you're listening, please send me a PM of what samples I was going to send you. And this is going to be funny because he ain't going to remember um, but speaking of senility, yesterday during our Zoom call, and also yesterday, um, uh, I believe we were talking about the Asylum RX, and this was a wonderful single-edge razor, machined, uh, stainless steel, and I could swear, in fact, I know that I sold that to him. Well, during our call yesterday... Dave could not remember whether I sold him or not. Well, I did find where I received the money from him. So, we're both senile. Yay! But I'm older. So, Dave has what we now call early onset shaving senility. And I'm just old. We both wear glasses. Anyways, so I have to give Dave a hard time. Today, we're using The Essence by Tetalus. Wonderful razor. And this has got a Feather Pro Guard blade in it. Now, another interesting thing is another person you want to check out right up here is Major Rich. Now, Major Rich, when you watch his shaves, they're very mellow, very, very, almost like you're, you're shaving with Andy at Mayberry RFD. And I am convinced once again, Major Rich, I am convinced that he has an easy bake oven in his shave den. And he is he is uh, making chocolate chip cookies. That's the type of place. It's a place you want to go hang out. You know, I think that his house probably smells like Cinnamon rolls and 
uh, chocolate chip cookies and cigars and some other smells that, well, we won't talk about. But anyways, it'd be a fun place to go. So check Rich out. As I mentioned, we had a Zoom call yesterday for the TSC. And it was absolutely fantastic. We had a lot of fun. A good crowd, too. So we want to thank all of you that showed up for that. And we do that every two weeks. So if you're a member of the TSC, and if you're not, why aren't you a member of the TSC? Come check us out, www.theshavingcadre.com. And join. The soap I'm using today is wonderful. It is a true barbershop scent. Hence, hey, it works out good. Dave's Barbershop at Home in Barbershop. It is a, a scent that was made famous by Yves Saint Laurent uh, with Rive Gauche. Or Homme, which was a perfume that was, I think it was in the, it's, it's been a while. There's very few original cans of that stuff yet left, but it was made to be, or to smell like Barbasol. And it is a wonderful, wonderful barbershop scent. Um, Really like it. The one thing that you can count on with our our Zoom calls is that we solve many of the world's problems. If our Powers that be were to listen to those of us on our Zoom call. The world would be such a wonderful place. In fact, last night, after almost everybody left, a few of us stuck around. And we solved the health care and prescription drug problem. Oh, and also, Dave had a comment, because as most of you know on the TSC, and most of you know that follow me, I have a tendency to equate fragrance with flavor. And Dave gave me crap about the fact that you taste on your tongue and you smell on your nose. Well... There is truth to that, and I will agree. However, I did some research today on the internet and Scientific America, so you know it's on the internet. It's got to be true. Mention, and I quote, scent is an integral part of flavor because you taste. And I will submit... That when you taste chocolate on your tongue, the taste is actually bitter. However, the scent, because it goes in through your olfactory, and the olfactory comes from your nasal passages around into your brain and into the back of your mouth and your right around here area. So you do taste it. So the reason why chocolate tastes sweet is because your nose tells you and it sends a message to your brain. So once again, I love the flavor of this. And anybody who says, who straight shades and say they haven't tasted 
a soap or a flavor is lying. There's another thing that's been stated. Well, I can't go into that because it's a it's it's a G-rated show. Let's just say that uh, there's an old wives' tale that says that uh, if you said you haven't, you're lying. And that's all I'll say on that subject. So anyways, now I love Nurse Dave. We get along great, so check him out. And also, there's another guy we want to check out. And this is a relatively new member to the TSC, and his name is Bill M., Now, Bill is on a one-man crusade to make sure that we try convex homes. Now, unfortunately, some hooligans and some miscreants at other forums don't have an open mind as to the different types of, of phoning. And there are tons of different ways to hone. But, you know, you can't change some people's minds, and that's okay. So we were fortunate enough, because of these miscreants, that uh, felt that uh, Bill's honing methods were not correct, he found us. And he is a wonderful part of the TSC. So make sure you check out Bill's channel. Um, he has uh, a series that's going on right now. on how to hone with a convex hone. So check him out. Now, the funny thing is most of these people that, that are against convex honing have <laughs> never tried a convex hone. So go figure. But check his channel out as well. And those of you that are interested in straight razor shaving, we also have a series of videos that I'll also link to up here that uh, take you through the beginning of straight shaving all the way through advanced technique. And uh, so let's check those out as well. A little bit of cleanup, as is always the case. But I think this one's just going to require a little bit of buffing. And that's it. And once again, a no, another wonderful shave with the Essence by Tedalus. And if you haven't gotten a stand yet, you really need to. It is really, really cool. And it is a brick, but it, it just adds to the sexiness of the razor as well. Do a little bit of alum just to make sure that uh, we didn't kill ourselves. And as Nurse Dave pointed out yesterday, always put the alum on wet because if you put it on dry, it's going to squeak across your face and everybody is going to laugh at you. Good stuff. And I know everybody likes Osmo. I prefer the Parasso alum. Parasso, did you hear that? A little bit of love. And then, I didn't rinse my brush out yet, so I'll do that real quick. The brush that we use is an older Paladin brush that I've had for a while. In fact, Tom, S.S. Kim, uh, I got that from him in, a, I think, a buy, sell, trade, or a PIF. I can't remember. But it is one of the original uh, Paladin chiefs. Uh, and this is back when there was a relationship between Lee Sabini 
and uh, that. So on the back side of it, it says uh, Chief uh, Blonde Badger, and it said uh, Kansas City and London. So this is a kind of a keepsake for me. I don't use it as often as I probably should, but there we go. Okay, we're red stuff. Now, Dave mentioned this yesterday, and I'm going to mention it again today. Thayer's. You got three of us, four of us, five of us that are using it, that are promoting your product on the internet on almost daily basis. Don't forget about us. You know, we just want to help you out. Now, today I'm using Thayer's Lavender, which is the most gentlemanly refined of all three of them. Although the lemon is good, the cucumber is great, the lavender is wonderful and not girly. and is one of the quintessential barbershop scents from yesteryear. We'll let that dry down a little bit. Now, if you're not a member, as I said earlier, if you're not a member of the Cadre, why? www.theshavingcadre.com. We're not the biggest, but we by far feel that we are the best shaving form out there. Nothing against the other shaving form, but our decorum, uh, our closeness, our camaraderie is truly a brotherhood and a sisterhood and is why we are called the cadre. And for those of you that are uh, military or former military, as myself, you know what cadre means. Enough said. Okay, for our aftershave, we are going to be using a brand new bottle of fine American blend. I bought this before they changed their bottles around, and I just finished my other bottle. Now, the nice thing about the fine products, at least under the old formula, I don't know if the aftershaves are any different than they used to be. Uh, water, denaturized alcohol, menthol, fragrance, that's it. And of all the cloners, or to uh, do a Star Wars thing, they're cloners. Um, for all the cloners, I think Fine does a fantastic job. Uh, he really, really nails the scent as far as that goes. So that was our aftershave. The soap we used was Fine American Blend in the ceramic um, matching coffret. Um, I don't know if he still makes these, but these are kind of nice. They don't have lids on them, but who cares? It's soap. And it tastes good, Dave. For our talc today, we are going to be using the old Barber Standby. And that's right, Clubman by Panade. Very good. Uh-oh. You guys are going to get a laugh, I think, out of this. Yeah, not too bad. Not like the talcum powder flower incident of 2000. I don't know if that was 21 or 22. See? Senility. Shave senility. It happens. Oh, and by the way, uh, just in case Dave brings this up, this is natural. Well, the thinning is obviously natural, but the color is natural. Hardly any gray whatsoever, and no gray on my beard. Well, okay, I have to admit, the reason why I don't have a, a, a handlebar mustache, for those of you who remember, I had a real nice handlebar mustache and a goatee, is because although the hair on my head has decided to stay mostly this beautiful mahogany brown color, the hair on my face decided to go white that quick. Now, I do have vitiligo, so I will profit with that. You can look that up on the interwebs. But um, I shaved the handlebar for two reasons. One, I started trimming it one day and trim, 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 oh hell, get rid of it. But also because I did not want to be called Colonel Sanders because my wife had been calling me Dick Dastardly, Professor Fate, and all that other stuff prior. See, I'm rambling. So you should feel that you are within the mind of Dave, Nurse Dave. Oh, this is kind of fun. Anyways, so that's the powder. The powder was well. And then I, I'm getting low on this and I'm getting kind of scared because I know that Gear, and Gear, let's speak for Gear. Gear and our Chris. He used to do wonderful videos. They were, you know, 35 minutes or so, but that's okay. You know, you got nothing to do. Watch Chris. And he doesn't make them anymore. He did make one a while ago, and he's become a little bit of gray around the temples and nice glasses and a beautiful shirt. So he's 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 aging well. But he bought some of this, and you can't find this except on the secondary market. When I bought this, it was like 80 bucks. Now, I'm not sure what he paid, but I know when you can find it, it's gotten stupidly expensive. Um but it is wonderful. It is probably the best overall barbershop scent ever created, in my opinion, rather than actually being in a barbershop, which I'm fortunate enough to do almost every day. All right, that's it, folks. I appreciate you coming along. Again, check us out at the Cadre. 
watch the, the continued vaudeville comedic actions between Nurse Dave and I. Remember not to forget to check everybody out that I mentioned. Uh, we really appreciate it. We're trying to help each other out. And then right down here, you're going to see a barber pole with a cowboy hat on it. Uh, if you like what you see, hit that. Subscribe. And if you like it, and subscribe. Yeah, you know what it means. Just subscribe. And then down at the bottom, there's a bell if you'd like to get notifications of when I put out new videos. That's it. Thanks for coming to Barber Dave's Barber Shop at Home. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you.